Ready to work out? Okay. You ready? Meow. You ready to work out? Let's go. You ready? Come on. a fair amount of effort to to uh, pedal. I like to do it this way. I like seriously get some burn, some lactate going in my muscles, oxygenating, bringing nutrients, rebuilding mitochondria, the upper body at the same time. I don't always do this do it to warm and to give a little extra challenge so one of the things that I've heard of that serious like weight trainers do is uh, restrict blood flow so they will train they will tourniquet above the targeted muscle group and train and uh, I guess that just apply, uh, applies extra stress um, on the muscle, I, it doesn't make sense to me because it seems like you need the blood flow, but I've read about it and there is like a physiological reason, I just can't remember it. But, whew, anything we can do, I think to challenge our muscles, especially as they get a little older, deal with sarcopenia, which I've been doing because I quit dancing years ago. Whew. It's good for us. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this down. Whew. That pressure's high. If it's too, whew. there we go. If it's too, too much resistance, I tend to harm the ligament above my knee. I forget what that's called. depending on the resistance. We'll give it a break, come back, and do it a few more times. Because as we know, rest is one of our seven sacraments. And that applies not only to rest between workouts, but between sets of your workout. So yeah. a few more times or at least one more time because <laughs> I'm feeling kind of tired today one of the things that I'm learning about long COVID is that whew, you feel good one day you push yourself and the next day you're flat on your back so pacing's good so whew, I'll talk to you for a minute I don't want to make this video too long though this is, this is like what I do. I tend to do um, ankle weights and ballet stretching and isometric or eccentric training and uh, a little bit of free weights. And this bike, I love this bike. I've told you about it before. My muscles are actually shaking. So yeah, I'm not in great shape, but I'm 60. 60 years old, ladies and gentlemen, and I like it. 
to kick. Back to stretch. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to get a glass of water. between four and six. Oh, I'm pretty fatigued. Yeah, don't even worry about it. I'm just gonna do a little, little every day, or every other day. It's better than like killing it one day a week. Like seriously, you need to move every day. You, me, and everyone we know. food. I'll show you my food. Hey, so I kind of have the shimmy shimmy shakes. So I cooked myself some. My bowl is hot because I did it in the microwave. Oof. Just some tofu. I just chopped up some tofu. Let's see. Mm, pardon my finger. Um, and some potatoes that we had used yesterday and some uh, veggie burritos. Um, yeah, with a little bit of teriyaki. Oh, yeah, so um, once I refuel, I might do a little bit of upper body. I'm not really sure, because I did some yesterday. Um, and I don't want to, you know, I'm just, I'm really, um, I'm really pacing myself and, you know, cause I mean, like being, like I said, like it's better to move every day if we can. And if I like torch myself and end up just not being able to get out of bed tomorrow, that's not going to do me any good. But anyway, it's about three o'clock here and I, um, I haven't eaten that well today. Like I had, um. I made a, a mochaccino thing that didn't taste very good, so I didn't really finish it. Um, and I had a piece of uh, multi-grain non-GMO toast with coconut oil, which um, was really satisfying at the time, but I think probably I just haven't had enough food today. Um, usually I eat way more than that by now. Um, I'm just kind of having one of those slow days getting started. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat this potatoes and um, tofu with teriyaki, <coughs> excuse me, and, um, and then I'll make a decision about whether I want to do a little bit more workout or maybe get to some writing. So I'll check in with you after dinner or after my snack. So this is what I'm doing for dinner. I wound up taking a nice little nap after my workout. Um, I felt good and stimulated, but I just, I don't know, I just needed to rest. So I snuggled under some covers because for some reason it's cold upstairs and fell asleep. And uh, now I'm up and uh, my kid wanted something. My husband's not home 
And so I'm like, well, I guess I'm on my own for dinner. So I had some leftover salad from eating, uh, ordering out the other night. And it was mostly um, like this iceberg lettuce. So I uh, chopped up and added like spinach, grated carrots, a little bit of broccoli, broccoli rafe, and um, balsamic vinegar and a um, cabbage from like an Asian thing. I do that, I do a lot of cheats. I do a lot of um, like whatever I can do to make life easier. So this will be what I eat tonight. It's actually quite a bit of, of salad and my potatoes and tofu after the workout really filled me up, but I wanted to get some fresh living stuff in as well as some cooked food today. So this will be uh, dinner and who knows? I mean, I may end up having a treat or something. I do not count calories. I, I just have given up on, on that whole thing. I think it can work for some people, but I don't really count macros either. Um, I sometimes pay attention to protein, um, especially if I'm working out and trying to, to like um, build some muscle because um, I really don't have any. But, uh, and I have to be very aware of sarcopenic muscle loss at my age so yeah so I just eat I t whatever I really feel like eating and I try to concentrate on mostly plants I do eat some animal products I'm trying really hard to go vegan but I'm having a hard time mostly because it's in the house um, it's tempting it's convenient um, and sometimes I can't digest a whole bunch of like tofu and beans and grains if that's all I'm having. So anyway, um, mostly plants, but mm, you know, I'd say 70%. At this point, I'm trying to push it higher. Um, and what I mostly concentrate on is what you get in your food, like your living greens, living enzymes, um, eat the rainbow, and less about what you don't have in your food other than, you know, trying to, like, avoid glyphosate if you can, but, um, that's kind of my thing. All right, I'll see what ends up happening. It's getting dark out, so you can kind of see out in my courtyard. It's getting dark, um, so I'll probably just eat my little salad, uh, see my husband when he comes home, see what he wants to make for dinner for himself, um, and probably um, do a little studying and watch a movie and go to bed. So that's, that's my day today. Thanks for sharing it. Blessed be.